Hi, my name is Nick Jeffries, and you're watching New Weekly, episode 21. How do we help these people? You know, all we can say is stay safe. We've never been through anything like this, what they're going through. A contractor coming in to finish the kitchen extension this week and we've got the bifolding doors and lantern on order. Hopefully we can have the hoarding up out the front, painted black with a nice gold NU. Scaffolds in place, um, tempers are going on the roof, nice six by twos on there, nice and fresh, um, and things are moving in the right direction. And everything is sort of best spoke everything is made so if, if we if we had a client for this yep. um you take the order and then it just it gets everything gets made hmm. so it's monday morning and i am just heading into the office well isn't it quite depressing at the moment with the war in Ukraine? We got a few family members out there because my wife's stepmom is from Ukraine and she's got children over there. And um, at the moment, I think they're living in the basement under the block of apartments. Where their apartment is and uh it's not great um and also i know a couple of other people who are in desperate situations to get out of ukraine and um it's difficult for us because what do we do how do we help these people you know all we can say is stay safe We've never been through anything like this, what they're going through. So yeah, we've got to keep positive for everyone over there. And um, hopefully someone will come along and take Putin out. Don't know who that would be. It can't be anyone from, uh, from NATO countries. It's gonna to have to be someone from within his organization. So let's see what happens. heading to Crabtree Lane in Hammersmith. We haven't been there for a while because the project's been put on hold for some reasons which will be discussed later on. But we're just beginning to mobilize for a start next week because we need to finish the kitchen extension to make it watertight. So I'm just pulling into Crabtree Lane now. So Crabtree has been empty for a few months and we need to get it up and running as soon as possible. As I said, we've got a contractor coming in to finish the kitchen extension this week and we've got the bifolding doors and lantern 
on order. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight So as you see, there's a lot to do. I'm not happy, the client's not happy, so we need to take action. The subcontractor is back on this week to finish that bloody kitchen extension. Then we can get the windows in, the bifolding doors, and then the boys can finally crack on with the fit out. There he is. <laughs> so we reckon the strip out's gonna be finished by end of the week? Yeah. Good. And all tidied up? Yeah, spotless. What, even the, st the hoarding up as well this week? Uh, potentially we can, but maybe we can get it all in. Yeah, get the timber, get, get, just, we'll just do it at the front. Yeah. We got some signs in the office. Yeah, we get all that post up. We'll yeah. Get that again. Excellent. Well, yeah, peace. <laughs> See you later. So Chesham's coming along slowly but surely. Um, it takes time to strip it all out and there's tons and tons of waste that's got to be removed. Um, so the boys will get there in the end. Hopefully we can have the hoarding up out the front, painted black with a nice gold NU on it by Friday because that's what we want we want to make sure we get hoarding up get the site set up get the welfare put in there get all the health and safety signs in and uh, and then we are ready to go but now I'm definitely on the way back to the office <laughs> So it's Tuesday morning and I've just been to a project we did two years ago on the Wandsworth Bridge Road. Now, we did two properties next door to each other. Uh, both had kitchen side returns and kitchen extensions and four internal fit outs. Now, we had a phone call from the client of one of them last week to say there is damp coming through the ceiling of the kitchen cyber turn so this was two days after we had all the stormy weathers so when it was pouring and pouring and pouring for the two days with severe rain and wind that you know probably the water went horizontally underneath the tiles and uh, found a way into the property now she sent me pictures I knew that if I delayed the site visit by one week it probably would be dry and like I thought I went around today and it was dry um, there was a stain but definitely definitely dry now I went up on the roof and I checked the gutters and the gutters were full of leaves so I'm sending round, sending someone around there um, as soon as possible to clean the leaves, just to check uh, the slates and the tiles, just to make sure there's no gaps, and also the lead flashing, just to make sure that's okay as well. Um, so that's what's happened there. Uh, Jemima's in the office. I've given her a couple of tasks to do. Um, one being get onto the local planning portals, i.e. Westminster, Hammersmith and Fulham, and Kensington and Chelsea, have a little look at 
what applications have been submitted. So obviously Jemima's 18 years old, she's new to the business. I'm trying to teach her a whole wide range of tasks which will generate cash flow into the business. Now, lead generation is a massive part of making money. So she's gonna go onto the planning portals, do a search like in Mayfair to see what applications have been submitted over the past two months. So, and I said, look out for keywords like basements, kitchen extensions, loft conversions and then go into the uh the documents find out the architect's details copy and paste it into google get their contact email and phone numbers and then that can go onto a call list now at the moment jemima is a little bit shy to call clients up or potential um architects so that can go over to izzy or guy to make the call so She's discovered three projects already this morning, which is good. Um, probably none of them is gonna be come to anything, but at least it gets her searching for opportunities and she get quicker and quicker at it. So I'm literally just heading back to the office. So um, Zoltan's not in today, so there won't be any um, editing going on because there has been a tube strike in London. So the roads coming in this morning were absolutely chock-a-block. Um, it took two and a half hours to get in. So we don't want to repeat that tomorrow, thank you. Um, but yeah, heading back to the office. So I see what I can do later on to create some content. 30 Meg, we've got 35 people in the using 20 Meg. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Yeah, yeah, and even and and the, and the money we're anything. spending on the fibre, it's still expensive, isn't it? So we need to get some kind of stability in the speed so we don't get any drop-offs. You should okay. Do that with me. I'm looking into it now. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. No worries. Bye bye. For that. Okay. No Good problem. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. morning guys well here we are at our project in the Cotswolds which is now taking shape with the roof um, the contracts here being very sensible as you can see we've put a little hardcore down to make sure that um, we protect the uh, the soil underneath and we're not working in mud so a nice really professional clean site uh, Mike who's the uh, main contractor here is doing an amazing amazing job um, I mean, considering the weather we have recently, they've really flown up. Scaffolds in place, um, timbers are going on the roof, nice six by twos on there, nice and fresh, um, and things are moving in the right direction. Um, we had a little bit of a change over here, which is basically um, a redesign of the opening, where we are um, we're basically uh, changed it. We're going to have like a nice flat glass roof on there. So this building is going to be totally clad, it's block work, but it's going to be totally clad. Flat roofs in place. Let me just walk through and see where we are. Um, as you can see, immaculate, immaculate site. I love this. This is what it's all about. Health and safety. Clean, 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 clean site. Okay, um, let's go through here now and we can see what we're doing. Drop my head to make sure I don't bang. Um, and... As you can see, we're doing really, really well. Considering the state of it before and to where it is now, 
these boys have done amazingly, amazingly well. Uh, a little bit less music in the background. I like a bit of music when you're working. So this is in the flat roof area, which is the skylight. Oh, just took a step down there. Excuse me. And then you can see all looking amazing, amazingly well. So up here now, this is where the glass roof's going to be. Um, we've realigned the block work. Nice big opening. Nice, clean, tidy site. Um, I've done really, really well here. This is where the property, the old property, will meet the new property. So basically, the finished floor level is just where that piece of timber is. That's the pipes coming through, ready for the underfloor heating. Um, so this is the opening which is going to have a doorway. And let me walk through to the rest of the, um, the site, actually. Uh, which way shall I walk? Let's go through this way. <laughs> you can see, scaffold in place. Good, solid scaffolding. Handrails, no messing around. Health and safety. Steels, nice timber roof going on there. Duck my head. All the block works up at either end now. You can see. It's working perfectly well. So that's spot on. Really, really good progress here, guys. So there you can see. Last time I was here was probably a couple of weeks ago. So we've got half the rafters on. We'll get that half the rafters on, get the roof on, and we'll be watertight. And then everything else comes off the critical path. As you can see, really, really tidy. Nice, nice. Bit of a windy, wet day. Considering what's going on in the rest of the world, I think we're doing rather well. We're very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. So I'm just going to go and see the client now, see how they are. I think they're pleased with the progress. I think we're going in the right direction. And as I said, hopefully we can um, we can get it watertight within the next two weeks. Uh, Jemima, um, I'm going to give you the card. Can you pop round to go and get a couple of wraps? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to them on the phone. Yeah. They're at the end of their tender process. They haven't signed that contract yet. Right. But I'm looking right at the decision. But I'm going to send them the medical assistance. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I've got the wrap. Yeah. That's what I've got. I've got that one there. So is this the first time you've done this, is he? On the on the planning um, portals? No, I searched up some yesterday, but I've got a bit more of a better understanding. So yeah. Guys actually explained what bits to pop in where, to yeah. then when you put it in the search engine, you'll get them back. So when you put in on the planning portal, are you putting a keyword into search? Extension. Extension. Yeah. Um, and putting the dates. So it's the last two, three months up until today. Yeah. So then the most recent, um, I can't remember what the name is now. Right. There's that company which I, I probably I sign up for, it's called planningpipeline.co.uk mm. and literally they have got a team doing all the due diligence for you. So all you do, you put in the area you want yeah. and it just pulls out a spreadsheet full of uh, everything. Um, um, and it even tells you what the project is and how much the potential bill cost is. Oh really? Yeah. So the, the project you're doing at the moment, yeah. is it nearly coming to the end or? I've just finished one, I just had building control yesterday. Yeah. And the, I did a development for my parents. They live in Spain. Yeah. Whereabouts, Marbella or something? Uh, Mallorca, yeah. Mallorca, oh, okay, yeah. nice. You know, we've got a, a, a kind of a collaboration and office in Dubai. Right. With a couple of in, English guys over there. Yeah. I set the website up, um, all the SEOs, 
up and running. Yeah. And for the first couple of months, I, I was pitching, because yeah. I had a thing in my head about basements. Yeah. But basements under existing villas yeah. in like Arabian ranches or something. Yeah. Because the Arabian ranches was built maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Right. So they're pretty dated. Yeah. And everyone is trying to increase the square footage, but you can't increase by adding loft conversions kitchens because it's, yeah. they don't like it. Do you think you get most of your uh, inquiries through social media or? Mo it all like starts. Or? It all starts from social media. Right. Even when I, I, I originally set up new in 2010, yeah. when Google AdWords were just Google. at its infancy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, me and my ex-business partner, you know, we, would, we used to come to London in our, in our little smart car, yeah. pretending we we're going to be the next big thing like Candy and Candy. Yeah. And we, but I always knew that let's just create we just made our own website Wix website yeah. and then I thought well let's how do we get to the top of Google yeah well let's just pay for it yeah when other companies they didn't even know what Google was yeah you know you could buy Fulham basements Chelsea basements basement conversions <laughs>
12.35 and Zoltan has just turned up because there's been a tube strike and it's taken, how long it's taken to get in today? Two hours, 30 minutes. Two hours, 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Uh, yeah. Just because there's so much diversion. Even if I knew where the diversion is, you have to get off from the bus to the another bus stop and then find out, you know, there's a road blocked completely. So you have to find out what bus stop is gonna be the next across to Soho. So you have to walk through and find it out, you know, like how I can get here. What a nightmare. Full up, full up, the bus is full up. What even a the nightmare. daytime. Uh... So it's 1 p.m. and I've just got to the Chelsea Harbour Hotel to meet a client about potentially collaborating with some interior design projects. So um, she'll be here soon and uh, I'll give you an update a bit later on. So just got back in the office, had a great meeting with a young entrepreneurial interior designer who is just starting up. Um, she's looking to get some experience with new. So what I said to her, I'm going to give her a task. So I'm going to send her a floor plan of maybe an apartment in Chelsea. And I'm going to give her a little brief. And from that brief, I want her to create a lookbook, a mood board, and a, like a cost summary on how much she could potentially charge for this project. So let's see how she gets on. And maybe one of these videos, I'll introduce you to her uh, further down the line. But apart from that, Will is meeting the client from Knightsbridge. Um, now, Will has driven out of London to meet the client at his home, I think, to talk about what is it gonna take to get this project signed up. Now, I think in the, um, in the running, there's us and someone else. Well, I'm a little bit annoyed about that, if, it's, if I'm quite honest, because it, he should be all in at the moment with new. Uh, we're putting a lot of effort into this. We're showing the client a lot of love, and he still wants us to sharpen the pencil to bring the cost down. Now, this property is a prime house in Knightsbridge opposite Harrods. You can't sharpen the pencil. It needs to be, the price needs to go up. This is the best area on the planet and the prices are what they are. So um, I won't see Will this evening. I'll see him in the morning. So we have a debrief over that one. And also the client wants off market development opportunities and he's looking for J JV partners. Amazing. We want to do joint ventures, but he can't have that as a bargaining tool as well. You know, we all we want to do is focus at the moment, we want to focus on Montpellier Street. And if we have a project which has enough meat on the bone, which the return on investment is 20 or 30%, hallelujah, we can show them. But at the moment, it's really, really difficult to find development opportunities which are worth jumping into because if they got a 10% return or 15%, it's not worth doing it. You need at least 20 to 25, 30% because if you're gonna have a joint venture share, the client puts in the equity, you get then development and funding for the property and then, then you have a carve up. Could be 60, 40, 50, 50, if you're lucky. Um, so watch this space. Um, we're still very optimistic. We've shown him a lot of love, a lot of care, a lot of attention, but it's just a little more time to nudge him over. I thought today we we're gonna have it tied up, so I'm a little bit deflated, uh, but hopefully tomorrow we can get closer. Um, what else has been going on? Yeah, it's still a little bit depressing, which is what's going on in Ukraine. Um, as you know, I've mentioned that we have uh, family 
um, in the capital city. Um, and I've also got friends over there. And I know because I've been having WhatsApp messages being sent to me with images of them in basements of properties, just literally sleeping on the floor or mattresses. It ain't good and they're very, very desperate. Um, there's one lady I know, I've known her for about six, seven years. She is really desperate. She's got a young baby. Um, they're trying to get across the board, border to Poland, but it's miles away. These people, you know, I'm trying to send them some money, but even on my bank account, it's hard to send a transfer to Ukraine at the moment. It's just not one on, on the menu. So I need to get some, um, potentially some money over to them so they can at least get mobilized. Um, so yeah, a bit worrying for them. Also us, we don't know where it's gonna to lead to. So Friday tomorrow, hopefully we're gonna have some better news for the projects in the pipeline. Um, live projects, they're going good. Most of our projects are up and running. North End Road, Fulham. I think we got scaffolding license approved yesterday. That means I think the boys can start at last putting this bloody scaffold up on the North End Road. And this is the uh, penthouse on the airspace of a, an existing residential block. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be one we can shoot some content Oh, it's been so busy. I need to go to Chesham Road as well, because Chesham Road is the one we shot, I think I went there on Monday and last week. Hopefully the boys have finished stripping out. I haven't even seen if they've got this, the, um, the hoarding up, because I want the hoarding up, I want the hoarding painted, and I want the sign on. What else? Guy has been in contact with the client of Sir John Lion House. He needs to get over there to have a look because he hasn't been there yet. Well, guy's only been here two weeks, so he needs to get around all the jobs to have a look. But it's been so bloody frantic. Winning deals, talking to clients. Oh dear, fighting fires, non-stop. So anyway, let's have a catch up tomorrow. Morning everyone, it is Friday and I am just heading to a meeting with an interior design company on the Kings Road in Chelsea. They want to collaborate with New and um, what are they call, they are called Brits, B-R-E-T-Z. And they've got a beautiful showroom right on the Kings Road in Chelsea, next door to the Chelsea Tractor Showroom, which is, um, like a project car, no, project, yeah, project car. And um, also you've got the World's End Studios uh, around here as well. Um, so I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna meet them, see what they want to do to collaborate. What I would like, I would like them to possibly kit out our showroom with furniture and lighting and artwork. That would be the ideal situation if we can get that one signed up. Because currently we're working with Covet House, a Portuguese company. And we've got desks, we've got cabinets, we've got side tables, lighting. But that contract will be coming to the end soon. I think we did a deal for a year. So we need to um, lock down someone else to collaborate with. So I'm just about to go into the place. There it is over there. So let's go in to see what deal can be done. Fuck 
factory in Turkey, in Istanbul. Beautiful. And how long does this piece take to make? It takes approximately six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks. Yeah. It depends the quantity. Yeah. yeah. And everything is sort of bespoke. Everything is made. So if, if we yeah. if we had a client for this, yeah. um, you take the order and then it just it gets everything gets made. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Size. This one. Actually, we had we have another factory <coughs> in Indonesia. Yeah. All the people who has, who is working for us, they're doing with the handmade. Yeah. Uh, they're just putting the um, the plans in front of them, and then they just start trimming. Yeah. Thank you so much this morning. This. Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. This gun. This is this is And yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. So what about this bed then? Uh, this one actually we have another brand called Brett's Hestia mm -hmm. uh, That H no, stands for the Hest Hestia yeah. It looks like a bit car design It looks like a Bentley doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like a Bentley design But when, when it comes to the uh, explanation of those wings yeah. There are um, different explanations for those wings in a Sufi way Yeah Yeah, You're special upper upholstery, yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know these materials, uh, they are fossil stones. When they are uh, stuck in the nature more than 150 years, yeah. they become solid. Yeah. And we just uh, merge them with the resin. Yeah. Make them together. And there are coffee tables as well. I mean, yeah. as I said, there's some furniture. Our store is not that much big as big what we have in Istanbul. Yeah. And but but we're just trying to show everything in the store. Right, okay. Uh, but the bread stands for something. This lovely hand. Look at these hands, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Actually, I'll show you the wrong side of the cabin as well. Sorry. Yeah. This one Beautiful. goes for like. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. that? There are some hand um, writing designs. Sketches, how sketches, yeah. yeah. From him. Yeah. Beautiful. Art Deco? Yeah, Art Deco, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Is it cherry wood? Beautiful, so, yeah. All this uh, furniture, this uh, mahogany. Mahogany, yeah. Not this machine, all hands. Mm. The backside. Yeah. Yeah. This frame, this one. This French style, this me. So all these pieces, you've designed all these yourself. Beautiful. Yeah. All my character and business. I can see. You've got a, a great character. Thanks so much. Honestly. So I'm back in the office after a really productive meeting with the CEO of Brett's Luxury Furniture and Design based 
on the Kings Road in Chelsea. It looks like we're gonna make a really good partnership together where they can supply all of our furniture and soft furnishings and or anything really to fit out a property. So next week, I'm gonna be taking Zoltan back and we're gonna be making some content about our new collaboration. But in the meantime, thank you for watching us this week. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel because it really does help. Thank you. Let's <laughs> go.